Hi, my name is Rob Cortman with Venture RV, and I'm a regional sales manager, and I'm going to show you some of the products that we have here to offer. This is the Sonic Light 169 VRK. Uh, again, with our Sonics, we are going to have a nice power tongue jack here in the front, which gives you an LED light for easy hitching up at night, uh, power up and power down, which makes it really easy to hook up your weight distribution and, and hook it up and get it off the ball of the truck or any of your tow vehicles. On the Sonic Light, we give you a 20 pound tank. It makes it nice and light, uh, very efficient, and you can swap those out uh, anywhere. Uh, even on a weekend, if a if an RV dealership is closed and you can't get it filled, you can just swap them out. Right behind the LP tank, you're going to have a space for a battery. And when your battery is hooked up, it goes to this battery disconnect switch. When you put the RV in storage, you can just turn that to red and it cuts all the power coming from the battery to keep you from having a dead battery. Now we go to the front where we have the rock guard. That's gonna keep stone chips and anything from happening to the front of the camper. And then you're going to transition to the fiberglass and our fiberglass goes all the way one piece from the front all the way to the back. And you eliminate some of the seams here in the front which you would normally transition to a vinyl or a TPO and then also in the back. So it keeps it nice. You don't have any rips or tears to worry about and it's really easy to maintain and keep clean. Now on the side, we've got a very large baggage door it's nice and thick and well insulated. The lights in here are motion detectors. So if you open them up at night, you don't have to bumble around trying to find the switch. It will automatically turn on for you. And then the same size door is on the other side. So it gives you a lot of nice access to that storage area. And it's a magnetic switch. When you let that go, it's gonna automatically slam. It is locked by the same key that you use on the entry door so you're not fumbling around trying to find the correct key. We have a power awning here that comes out eight feet. There's also a LED light to light up your campsite. All of our windows are a deep tint window with a black window frame that helps kind of hide the dirt and looks a lot cleaner and crisper longer. A porch light as well and then you're going to have two outside speakers with LED lights inside there. Just underneath, kind of near your picnic table area, you're going to have a 110 outlet and then also a connection for cable if you wanted to hook up a TV out here. And then we do have aluminum wheels on all of the models as well, and those are nitrogen filled. Now we have the solid steps here. These will support 500 pounds. Gives you a nice sturdy entrance to the camper for pets or anybody of any age. When these steps stow away, they go up and inside the camper and lock in. The door will shut, gives you a nice clean uh, look from the outside, plus a lot of added clearance just behind the axle. Keeps those steps nice and dry. When you open the door back up, the steps will unlatch and come down. These are all adjustable on either side if the ground is a little unlevel. We also give you a screenshot on the door. So when this door, when you walk out, the screen door will shut just behind you and latch, keeps all the bugs and critters out. The lend a hand will fold flush to the side of the camper as well uh, and gives you some assistance going in. And then plus we have the bottle opener and the dog tie out just underneath it. Coming around to the back of the camper, you'll see this is where our fiberglass finishes off here to the back. Again, one piece. We have all LED light, taillights, and turn signals. They're a little bit brighter, uses less power. We are pre-wired for a backup camera here as well. And then in the back, you'll see that we have satellite hookup, cable hookup, and we are pre-wired for solar here as well if you wanted to get a panel and keep your batteries topped up. Just along the side here, on the utility side of the camper, we're going to have a six gallon water heater. Uh, only reason you need to open this is if you want to drain it. There's an anode rod there. Otherwise, it all operates from the inside with the click of a button. Works off of gas. You flip the button and it lights, or you can run it off of electricity. So it gives you two options there. We have a 30 amp power connection. This is a marine style. It 
Quick connects in here, gives you a nice tight fitting for any insects or water. Um, that, they're not gonna come in at all. We have hot and cold running shower here as well. City connection. And then this is a black tank sewer flush to keep things uh, clean in your toilet tank.